Hello guys welcome to data fuse analytics hope everyone is in good health today we will be seeing everything about google's bard which is an experimental conversational ai in this video we will be studying few important topics like why bard when chat gpt is there is bard a failure or a success did google employees were against their ceo mr sundar pichai for launching bard what is the current status of bard and future of conversational ai models let's look into some background about bard google has a long history of utilizing ai to enhance the search for billions of users and their most recent ai innovations are now building on this and creating completely new ways to interact with information whether it be language images videos or audio lambda is the engine behind the creative and experimental ai chatbot bard for those who don't know the full form of lambda the full form is language models for dialogue applications although there are no algorithms called as bard i do know that the chatbot is powered by lambda so i think that the name bard is solely a marketing ploy a large language model called as lambda is trained using web data and data sets from public discourse the training provided in the accompanying research report has two key components which are crucial and very important the first key component is safety by fine tuning the model with the data that was annotated by crowd workers the model reaches a level of safety the second key component is groundedness lambda bases its factual arguments on outside knowledge sources through information retrieval which is simply search the entire research about lambda that is language models for dialogue applications can be found in this following paper there are number of potential uses for google bard that can make living easier and close knowledge gaps the most typical ones are as follows the first potential use is with the help of bard of its advanced ai algorithms questions can be answered appropriately and accurately The second use is information can be found using the well known google search tool. The third use is task automation that is more advanced and improved which is powered by google ai personal ai support particularly for activities like management and scheduling support. Also it can be a key component in facilitating user interactions in a variety of contexts and serving as a social hub. Now that we know about the extensive applications of bard then why its launch costed company in a negative manner let's look into this matter after open ai's chat gpt widely popular debut which gave the impression that google was lagging behind in technology google launched bard with the ability to disrupt the search market and tip the balance of power away from google search and the lucrative search advertising industry chat gpt was seen as a revolutionary technology The alarms at Google seemed to go off in full force when there were rumors that Microsoft planned to incorporate a new ChatGPT version powered by GPT-4 into Bing. It was generally believed that Google made its announcement of its AI event relatively late in the effort to beat Microsoft's. Although Google technically made its announcements before Microsoft, the post just seemed to be a Google catching up to chat gpt rather than providing anything new to humans the following days microsoft gathering dominated media attention impressive results were obtained with the most recent version of chat gpt which is linked with bing edge office and other services more than a million people registered to try it in just 48 hours the gathering was well planned even though it was last minute now 3 weeks after chat gpt's debut that is on december 21 2022 the new york times and cnet reported that google had activated code red in order to swiftly define its response to threat presented to its business model on february 6 2023 google launched the bard 47 days after the code red strategy modification the primary problem with google's event though it just felt hurried after microsoft's that kind of ended when a presenter's phone vanished and prevented a live demo from happening at the company's own gathering 
मायक्रोसॉफ्ट सीईओ मिस्टर सत्यनादेला अपियर्ड ऑन स्टेज अँड वॉर जोकिंग अराउंड वायल मिस्टर सुंदर पिचाय हू इज अ सीईओ ऑफ अल्फाबेट अँड इट सबसिडरी गुगल वॉज नॉट एट ऑल प्रेझेंट ॲट गुगल्स काउंटरपार्ट गुगल एम्प्लॉईज क्रिटिसाइज मिस्टर सुंदर पिचाईज मॅनेजमेंट ऑन द प्रायव्हेट मेसेज बोर्ड मेमजेन द बार्ड लॉन्च अँड द ले ऑफ अकॉर्डिंग टू वन लेटर वेअर रश्ड बॉच्ड अँड मायोपिक अँड मिस्टर सुंदर पिचाई वॉज अर्ज्ड टू प्लीज रिटर्न टू अडॉप्टिंग अ लॉंग टर्म पर्स्पेक्टिव्ह इन्व्हेस्टर्स ऑल्सो कॉमेंटेड ऑन दिस इव्हेंट अँड द इन्व्हेस्टर्स वर नॉट एट ऑल हॅपी फॉलोइंग दिस इन्सिडेंट गुगल स्टॉक फेल बाय अराउंड टेन पर्सेंट डिप्लिटिंग द कंपनीज वर्थ बाय डॉलर हंड्रेड अँड ट्वेंटी बिलियन द कंपनी स्टॉक हॅज ड्रॉप्ड अनदर सेव्हन पॉईंट सेव्हन पर्सेंट ऑफ मो वेन दिस व्हिडिओ इज गेटिंग पब्लिश सम गुगल एम्प्लॉईज रिपोर्टेडली हॅड नो आयडिया दॅट द गॅदरिंग वॉज हॅपनिंग एट ऑल द मेजॉरिटी सीम्स टू वॉन्ट टू पुट द इन्सिडेंट बिहाइंड दॅम सो दॅट दे कॅन गिव्ह बार्ड द प्रॉपर लॉन्च विच इट डिझर्व ड्यू टू फॅक्च्युअल इन अक्युरेसी इन द डेमो which was intended to show off google chatbot ai the bard the announcement was a shocking failure here we can see this with the help of an example google's initial bard rollout is a cautious move and now google is playing safely with it in the us and uk google has started sending out early access to its bard chatbot google now appears to be comfortable with bard being ready for public testing the race to create based conversational ai chatbot has intensified since chat gpt launched last november sparkling what some called as ai war we are in a golden era of generative ai and i think that these are the following points to keep an eye on the first point is models that can generate their own training data to improve themselves the second point is models that can fact check themselves and the third point is massive sparse expert models now please let me know your views about this Thank you guys for watching this video. As you have watched this video till the end, please like this video, share it with your AI enthusiast friends, comment on this video for your suggestions and feedback and subscribe to this channel. Thank you all.